Hello guys, this is Dark Brain from Madanos.com and guess what guys, I'm actually back already. I already fixed my computer, you know, it's been a while since I posted a video. And, uh, you know, I actually want to start with a series called, uh, you know, NFL Draft Needs and uh, also Free Agent Pickups as well. So right now we're going to start from the first pick in the draft. And I've been doing this series for a couple of years now, I think it's three years. So, you know, hopefully you enjoy this series. Anyways, I started off with the Buccaneers and they have the first round pick in the draft and actually have also uh, Free Agent Pickups as well I think they pick up Bruce Carter they also picked up Henry Melton and Chris Conte but I don't think those guys are pretty good I think only Melton and Bruce Carter are pretty good players but Bruce Carter sometimes you know he shows that he's pretty good and then he shows that he's not so hopefully with Lovey Smith can help him out develop that uh, you know good player as a good player and uh, hopefully he becomes good and also Henry Melton played for the Cowboys uh, you know he did pretty good you know got some sacks as well but you know he's gonna help out those DTs to rotate so anyways also they have the first round pick in the draft and they really need a playmaker guys and I think the first round pick is gonna be Jameis Winston because he's one of the great quarterbacks in uh, NCAA uh, you know he's one uh, he's went undefeated until the playoffs you know he lost the last game against uh, Ohio State which you know Ohio State is pretty good man so anyways uh, you know hopefully Jameis Winston can come here and bring that winning mentality to the Buccaneers and I know he has uh, some offseason problems uh, you know I think he was stealing crab legs or something like that man what the hell is going to do that but anyways in my opinion I think you know the Buccaneers are going to draft Jameis Winston he's a winner he's a good uh, he's a great quarterback and uh, hopefully uh, you know he gets drafted with the Buccaneers but also he can be like a Jamarcus, Jamarcus Russell as well and uh, hopefully they don't they don't they don't get that of a player because you know the Buccaneers haven't been to the playoffs for a long time you know I think the last time I remember was like 2005 2004 man it's been a long time since I've seen him in the playoffs or seen him as a contender so hopefully Lovey Smith can pick up this defense and this offense and like I said they got good receivers they got good running backs man I think they have three good running backs they got Doug Martin they got uh, Bobby Rainey they got uh, Mike James as well they got Mike Evans Vincent Jackson man they just need a slot they just need a quarterback guys who the hell doesn't want to come to this team with tall receivers good receivers good running backs and they just need to fix a little bit of that old line but with the draft hopefully they can help them out and I think Jameis Winston is the guy for this team because you know he's been winning a lot of games in college football and I know it's not the same thing as NFL and college but like I said man this guy's a winner he doesn't like to lose and uh, hopefully you know he comes becomes one of the great quarterbacks in the NFL so anyways guys you know I decided to play with the Buccaneers a ranked match and uh, right here, as you can see, we're 21-0. He's my opponent's using the Cowboys. I'm trying to send the blitz, but I don't know what the hell's wrong with Tony Romo. This guy is elusive. He's breaking tackles, all the sacks, and all the heat, the, the A-gap heat that I sent. And he broke, he broke the, those tackles. I couldn't believe it. So, anyways, he gets a nice catch right there. He's trying to get the first down. So I've been playing a little bit more defense. So, anyways, guys, you know I, what I've been doing lately? You know, I've been playing tournament games. I've been playing uh, Ultimate Team as well. And uh, you know. I haven't been posting now because my computer all of a sudden just shut down. They didn't want to turn on again. So uh, right now I'm back. You know, it's already late because the season is over. But hopefully y'all enjoy this series. Like I said, I've been doing it for a couple of years now. So anyways, I get the ball back 7-21. I'm trying to find somebody open. He gets, an, he gets a nice A-gap a heat right there. So I'm trying to find somebody open. And I, you know, as you, as you can see, we see Doc Martin wide open on the right side. We got that. I got 39 seconds to go. So let's, let's go ahead and run it right there. Should have just cut it to the inside. Would have scored. But uh, <clears throat> you know, I've been improving, guys. I've been improving in my game. I've been uh, getting new stuff as well, and I haven't been posting it up. But you know, I actually did a video. You know, so uh, and it's gonna be in my ebook uh, pretty soon. I just need to upload. It's taking a while because it's a 45-minute video, and I actually you know play a full game with commentary guys so I can help you out you know my reads everything I'm doing and uh, hopefully an offense and defense as well so hopefully this can help you out and it'll be posted up pretty soon anyways we're 24 to 7 you know like I said uh, this uh, Buccaneers they're pretty good guys but you know for some reason these guys haven't progressed and hopefully have the right coach in Lovey Smith and let me know what guy, what you guys think you know you think they should improve something somewhere else you know maybe they shouldn't draft uh, they shouldn't draft a quarterback. Maybe they should draft an offensive lineman. Maybe they should draft, I don't know, safety or something, guys. Let me know in the comment section below because I want to know 
your opinion who do you think they're gonna get who do you think they should get or who do you think they should fire man they also lost michael johnson as well back he went back to the Bengals because michael johnson didn't fit the right uh system with that defense and uh i think you know as well i thought pretty much that michael johnson is not that good with the buccaneers he's only good with the Bengals. so anyways Back to the game, played 21 to 24, and I really didn't think there was gonna, this was gonna be a game, but this guy started to come back. So we're 24 to 21, we get a nice catch with Vincent Jackson. Right here, we get a Mike James with a nice catch to the right side. Third and nine, guys. We're four and four. I'm not gonna risk it, so I'm gonna go ahead and kick the field goal right here. So we're 27 to 21. He tried to run the ball to the middle of the field, and I've been doing. I actually been practicing with a 3-4 because a lot of people are using it, and it's pretty good, guys. I, I actually found some nice nanos as you can see right here we get a nice a gap heat and also have a good run stopper as well um hopefully my next game i'll be posting it as you can see right there oh my god tony romo breaking tackles man he still couldn't find nobody open luckily i get a nice sack right there and i get him hurt so anyways i try to send the heat again right here my cornerback and my linebacker does a nice job stripping that ball so anyways let's go ahead and run it with bobby rainey and uh you know who do y'all think man you think this Buccaneers are going to progress pretty soon this year. Look at this play, man. Mike Sims. So I don't know what his name is. Look at this cutback right here. We get a nice touchdown to close it up in the fourth quarter. So anyways, we're now we're 34 to 21. And, uh, you know, hopefully the Buccaneers improve and we get a nice pick right there with Mason Foster, which also left the team for another t for another team. So anyways, and, uh, you know, let's just go ahead, uh, go ahead and score and waste some time right here. Mike James get a nice first down. So uh, let me know guys in your comment section below what do you think and uh, you know what who do you think they should draft who do you think they should get with free agency is going now crazy I think this is the most activity I've seen in a couple of years in free agency you know so a lot of players you know went to different teams so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel share my video like my video as well you know the next team is going to be the Tennessee Titans and then you're going to hear my opinions of all the pick, uh, free agency pickup they got and the draft needs they need so thank you guys for watching until later guys your boy Dark Raven